we've had 50 or 60 years of flawless operation of deep s submersibles. And I'm in that world, I know that world. I've built my own subs, I've operated my own subs, and these guys broke the rules. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. And so this is an anomaly, right? And it should be thought of as an anomaly, not the standard. So why would OceanGate misrepresent the safety of Titan? I think when you, when you reverse engineer what happened, you have a, 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 a particular individual, Stockton Rush. He was enamored of the, the sort of the, the glamour and the exoticism, and he was attracted to it, but he came from the wrong industry. He came from, the air, you know, from aeronautics, and aeronautical engineering is fundamentally different. What were your impressions of him? He was a nice enough guy. I didn't know him very well. He was always trying to get me to sort of uh, jump in because I'm obviously well known in the Titanic community. Um, and, you know, I didn't want to have any part of a, of a sub that had those design parameters. I mean, mm -hmm. I knew it was a flawed design. And there's a bit of history to that that I don't think anybody's talking about. There was another sub designed by a very credible designer uh, that was a wound carbon fiber hull, cylindrical hull, with uh, uh, titanium end caps. And it was designed to go to the Challenger Deep. And all of us objected. We all told the, the particular individuals involved in that project, completely separate from Stockton's, that this thing was going to be a coffin. Because of the carbon fiber hull. Exactly, because of the carbon fiber.